George Lloyd's In Memoriam. Derek Bourgeois's first concerto was his first composition for brass band. It was written for the Grimethorpe Colliery Band at the request of Elgar Howarth, who conducted its first performance at the Queen Elizabeth Hall in London in 1974. Howarth gave Bourgeois a list of instruments and their theoretical ranges with one of his own Grimethorpe recordings. Armed with these, Bourgeois charged in where angels fear to tread, as he puts it, with this extraordinary result. The work's in three movements. The first, at the tomb of Arthur Benjamin, contains a quotation from Benjamin's Jamaican rumba. The second is called Mr. Ravel Turns in His Grave. The last, the war march of the ostriches, was inspired by a visit to Bristol Zoo. So the concerto, obviously, is written tongue-in-cheek. Perhaps bourgeois thinks, as I sometimes do, that bands and bandsmen take themselves very seriously indeed, and that a leg pull of a gentle and musical kind is not out of place. Here, then, is Derek Bourgeois' first concerto for brass band. <laughs> 